Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on various aspects of database replication and in the today's demo we are going to uh, cover the topic how to share the replicated database. So if you have not seen my recent blog on database replication then I would recommend you to please have a look because I have captured lots of detail and lots of demo in my previous blogs. So let's start with the demo. So before we go into demo, uh, I would like to share the architecture which I am going to implement in my demo. So here you can see uh, this is an organization and within an organization I have three different accounts out of which two are business critical, one is standard. Both the business critical are on two different region uh, out of which one is primary, one is secondary and other is on the same region as secondary but it's on the standard so what i'm going to do in this demo is like i'm going to replicate the data between uh, business critical account in two different regions from europe west to azure or uk south and once the data base is replicated to secondary region i will share that with my another uh, consumer using database secure sharing so in this demo we are going to cover uh, multiple things at the same time we are going to see the database replication demo as well as we are going to see the uh, secure sharing demo in the same uh, uh, th in the same uh, demo and as well as we are also going to see how you can secure uh, share the data from higher edition account to lower edition account so this this is a very wonderful demo and uh, this green color is basically to highlight that this both account are on the same region so let's start with the demo so this is going to be a bit uh, bigger demo than usual but it would be interesting and quick all right so for this uh, as you can see on the diagram this account is on Euro Eurofest which is my primary account here i'm going to create the database at the moment you will see that there is no database called database replication so there is no database i'm going to create a database over here and then i'm going to replicate it to my secondary account which is secondary account and which is in a uh, different region, Azure UK South. And then I'm going to create the share from this database, uh, from this account and share on the another consumer account, which is on UK South only, but a different account. So you can see the secondary standard. So if you come here, you will see that this is on secondary standard, addition is standard, and this is the locator and the region detail. Similarly for this account, if you come here, it, you will see that this is a business critical account. It's on Microsoft Azure on UK South London. This is secondary. And this account is on primary Europe West. Uh, all right, so let's start with the demo. So I'm going to use this uh, existing uh, warehouse, which I have already created. I'm just going to create the new database and a schema. If you are following my other uh, previous demo, you understand that I'm, I have created this database multiple times for different demos or database replication. So I'm just going to use the same for consistency. So I'm going to use this database and schema, set the context. I'm just going to create one table and one view. Uh, not much object detail because this is not a database replication specific uh, demo. This is more towards how we can share the replicated database. So I'm just going to create one table and one view, secure view, which is more than enough to showcase the thing. And then I'm going to uh, enable the replication from this account to secondary account. So now all the tasks required from my primary account is done. Now I will move to secondary account and I'm going to create the replica. So before we enable the replica, I will just like to refresh and see showcase you that with my account admin role, there is no database called uh, database for replication. And now I'm going to use my existing warehouse and account admin role and going to create a replica of the database from the primary uh, database which I just created on my primary account. So I'm just going to create now I will refresh and you will see that database for the application is created but there is no schema which in under which we have created the object. So if you come here uh, let me refresh. So source schema is not yet there so I don't see the table and view which is created over here over here. So what I will do I will refresh this database so that the object get replicated. So it might take a couple of seconds because I only have two objects. So let it be completed and then we will see further. So uh, hardly it will take I think uh, 
max 30 second to 40 second not more than that let me refresh if i see okay you can see that the object is already there so most probably the data is being replicated so now all the things are there if i refresh and if i come here three rows in the view also you will if i query you will see the three rows right so data is successfully replicated so now we are done with this so let me go back so now we are done with this uh part where we have set up the primary database and enable the replication then we came in secondary account and we created the replica and refresh the database and now this database has been replicated as a read only copy in the secondary database now we will create the share and share the object from this account to this account and then we will move here and then we will create the um, create a database out of that shared database in the standard account so let's go back to our uh, coding so now we will come here and create the share called replicate db shared and grant the usage of the database schema and the view because we only want to share the view not the other object that's our business requirement uh, let me see the grant for that database uh, sorry that uh, shared so if you can see i have only given the grant for the database schema and the view the select of the view and now i will add the account so this is my current uh, account of the secondary uh, standard account so if i come here and if i execute this you will that see that this is my current account locator ca86934 so i will just add this you can do this uh, you can add this from here as well as you can copy this and come here and then you can go here and then if you want you can click here and add the account here so if you click full and then press here you will be easily able to add that so let me go and just execute this so we can do both ways so now you see that there is an error which is an interesting error i wanted to showcase you that sql execution error sharing is not allowed from an account on business critical edition to an account on the lower edition the following account are on the edition lower than the business critical account so this is the restriction which i was talking about in my blog that you can't share from business critical or the higher account to the lower account and this is this has been done to safeguard if you are uh, created some object which is part of only business critical and you want to replicate to the lower edition which, where this object is not applicable uh, then your replication uh, your uh, sharing will not happen that will block you so you have to go and review and if that object is applicable in the lower edition as well then you can ignore that uh, edition check and then you can go ahead else if you ignore then it might fail on the data share but just wanted to showcase you that if you are sure that there is no no special object which is only for business critical edition and you want to replicate that in the lower edition and it's good for the uh, demo so i'm just going to alter and add the this so it is not allowing me so now what i will do i will just add another parameter call share restriction is equal to false which will say like bypass the addition check for this share and now it will allow me so the moment i do this if i come here on my uh, last account this is secondary standard and if i come here and if i switch my role to uh, account admin because that's the role i need to create the share sorry uh, read the share or see the share and then create the database out of share so now you can see that the replicated db share shared by secondary data secondary account is now popping up inside the inbound share for me so i can create either database by using this uh, ui tool or i can come here in the worksheet and then i can just use the code which i have already written so all right so what happened object does not share sorry this is copy paste issue so i'm using my existing warehouse which is already created as part of a previous demo so i'm just going to create the database uh, with the same name uh, what i have for the share from the share if you see here and then i'm going to give the privilege of this database to the account admin at the sysadmin role so let me create the share so now if i refresh you can see that the database has been appeared and the schema which we have shared from the secondary account and the view which we have shared from the secondary account is now clearly visible over here now if i go here and if i click here i can query the data in my 
account. So this is how you have seen that how data have created and nurtured in one account, replicated on another account in different region and then shared on another account in the same region. And that too the data trans uh, transfer from one edition to another edition as well. So this is how you can utilize the replication as well as database to share the data across the region or in the same region. Uh, so that's that's your use case what you want to implement, but it's easily implementable using the database replication in the share. So now that you can use the same thing with any other objects, which is uh, eligible for the share. So now now that I have completed the demo, I would like to just destroy the database to showcase you what is the effort if you want to wind up. So you have to just drop the database from here. So now the database is gone. You have to just go on the reverse order and then come to the secondary account where you have to drop the share and then drop the database. So now everything is gone from the secondary account. And then if you come on the primary account, go on the bottom, just use this rule and just drop the database. And now everything is gone from here as well. If I refresh, you will not see anything over here. So that's uh, all for end to end demo. And uh, this is how we have replicated from one primary account in AWS Europe region from business critical account to Azure UK South in the secondary account, which is two different region and across the globe. And then we have shared the database on the same region, but uh, from higher edition account to lower edition account. And still we can query the data on the fly. Hope you have liked this demo. And if you like this demo, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.